So I did Celia and Frank Bugella. So the Celia contains many and they are short. So they are these things right on the edge of the cell wall. Um, the Frank Bugella is long and there's normally only between one and eight. Um, if they, if there is more than one, they come very, very spread apart on the cell. Um, So the structure, um, it, there's a cylinder array of nine filaments, which are these things right here, and right here it's the red things, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then there's a single pair of micro tubes, which are right here in the middle, um, and then there is a sheath membrane, which is also, it's a plasma membrane, which is this blue right out here. So their function, um, they are used to move liquids across the cell. In single cells, this allows them to swim. So, for example, a sperm it has a flank of jello and it allows it to swim. Um, it also allows cells that are anchored to tissues to move liquids across the surface. So their movement. Um, the flank of jello moves in a motor-like pattern which allows the main, main movement to be this way. And then the cilia moves in a back and forth kind of pattern. The back pattern is called the recovering. The frontward pattern is called the power stroke. So its main movement is going to be this way. Um, the movement is allowed um, by motor molecules and the energy of ATP.